Hey there, folks, and welcome back. In our last lesson, we defined what it meant to compute the surface integral of a vector field. And today, we're going to look at our very first example. In this problem, we're dealing with the surface S given by the portion of the plane 2x plus y plus z equals 4 that lies in the first octant of R3. We'd like to determine the flux of this vector field F over the surface S, given that S has upward orientation. Okay, there's lots being said here, so let's try to pick out the important bits. We're given a surface S, it's the portion of this plane in the first octant, and it has upward orientation. So this is the relevant information for the surface. The vector field is also provided to us, and we're looking for its flux over S. Hmm, what's flux mean again? Oh right, it's another way of saying the net rate of fluid flow through the surface S. So really, we need to compute the surface integral of this vector field over our surface S. Okay, here's our information once again. Since we know we're going to have to integrate over the surface of this plane, it'll be helpful to draw out the region to see what's going on. So using our usual techniques, we see that the plane is going to cross the x-axis when x is 2, and it's going to cross the y and z axes when these variables are equal to 4. So if we connect these points up, there is our plane. All right, from here we're going to follow that three-step process that I outlined at the end of my last video. The first step is to parametrize the surface, which in this example is the plane. Ah, but the plane is the graph of a function. If I move x and y to the other side, I can write this as z equals 4 minus 2x minus y. This is our function, f of x, y. Since we're dealing with the graph of a function, we can use that really easy parametrization. r of x, y equals x, y, 4 minus 2x minus y. All right, step one is complete. Now on to step two. We have to compute Rx cross Ry. This is going to give us a vector that points perpendicular to our surface. Again, since we're dealing with the graph of a function, this is a little bit easier. Rx cross Ry is minus partial f by partial x, minus partial f by partial y, and 1. Well, it's not too hard to see from this expression that partial f by partial x is going to be minus 2, and partial f by partial y is minus 1. So I get the vector 2, 1, 1. At this point, we should pause and make sure that our normal vector is oriented correctly. We were told that our surface has upward orientation. So is this vector pointing in the correct direction? It is, right? You can see here that the z-coordinate is positive, so the vector is angled upward. If I had asked for downward orientation, we would have to multiply this vector by minus 1. Okay, that's step 2. Now on to step 3. We're looking for the flux of this vector field, right? And we agreed on the last slide that the flux is given by the surface integral of f over the surface s. According to what we derived in the last lesson, this is the double integral over d of f dot rx cross ry dA. For step three, we're going to set up and evaluate this integral. We already know our cross product. We already know our vector field. Really, we just have to deal with this region d. OK, we need to set up and evaluate this double integral. I've included our vector field f that was given to us at the start of the problem as well as our cross product rx cross ry, the vector 2, 1, 1. We still need to find the bounds on these double integrals, though, and so we have to look at the region d, the set of all possible values of x and y over our surface s. Ah, well, if we're looking at x and y, we're really looking at this triangle in the xy plane. And I'll draw that triangle for you here. We see that x is 2, y is 4, and this is our region d. It's not too hard to see that this equation, by the way, is y equals 4 minus 2x. So we can set this up as a region of type 1. y goes from 0 to 4 minus 2x, and x goes from 0 to 2. At the end of the integral, we have dy dx. Okay, let's expand this dot product and evaluate. We have the integral from 0 to 2 of the integral from 0 to 4 minus 2x of 2y plus 2z, the 
hold on, z is this expression here, so 4 minus 2x minus y, plus e to the y, plus x minus e to the y. Ooh, it looks like those e to the y terms are going to go away, and it seems like I'm going to get some cancellation here from my first term, right? This 2y is going to disappear. At this point, it's just a matter of cleaning up the expression and evaluating the integral. We have the integral from 0 to 2 of the integral from 0 to 4 minus 2x of 8 minus 3x dy dx. I'll let you work through the rest of the calculations, but you should get a final answer of 24. Okay, great, but how do we interpret this final answer? Well, if we have a positive flux, it's telling us that the fluid is tending to flow with this normal vector. We have a net upward flow through our surface S rather than a net downward flow. 